first you need to navigate to Jamboard. The easiest way is through your Google Waffle. When it's open, you'll find all Jamboards that you've created, they automatically save. To create a new one, it's the bottom right, the little plus in the orange circle. I would give it an appropriate name straight away. They auto save. This is for 10J and it's lesson 12. Now I'm going to use this to ask my retrieval practice questions because I'm finding that they don't really give answers verbally and also that they don't always write in the chat and quite often they'll just write what someone else has written anyway. So if you create a Jamboard, you can actually just give them the whiteboard to mark on or on this one, I'm going to take my retrieval practice um, slide and put it into the Jamboard. So to copy text, you need to select text from the left hand toolbar. And I'm just going to put my questions in here. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to share it with the students and then they can just type or write or use their pencil if they've got um, the 500E Chromebooks and write the answers directly into this. And I will show you how you can view all of these at the same time. So question one goes in and then I'm going to put question two in. Remember that if you're copying and pasting text, you need to have the text um, box selected from your left hand menu. When you've done that, you don't need to save it, it saves automatically, but you'll need to distribute it via Classroom. So if you go to Classroom, and then I will set this as an assignment like I would do anything else, give it an appropriate title. And the Jamboard will come up in your recent files, or you can just navigate to where it's saved. Make sure you have um, a copy for each student. I'm going to set mine as unmarked. OK, so what that will do is it will put a copy of that Jamboard in every student's folder. Now I'm going to want to monitor that in real time. So if I go to Drive, go to My Drive, go to my Classroom folder, find 10J, and then the folders in here are in the assignment names. So I will just look for Jamboard. And there you can see that I can see everybody's board and that will update in real time.